Today you join me in the kitchen where I'm going to be reviewing this Neff electric built-in double oven. Model number U1AC5HN0B. So stick with me while I check out everything this oven's got to offer, plus talk about what I like and what I don't over the course of this review. So obviously with a double oven you're getting two cavities. The bottom cavity is 71 litres fan assisted oven and that's an energy A rated efficiency whereas the top oven is 34 litres and it's a conventional oven with a B rated energy efficiency so both of them will save on those all important pennies when you're cooking your dinners. So the main fan assisted oven has no less than 10 different functions. Two of those are actually cleaning functions and one of them is a rapid heat function which I'll talk to you about shortly. Whereas the top cavity, that's got five functions for you, again one of them being a cleaning function. Some important admin for you. So the oven measures 88.5 centimetres by 59.4 centimetres with a depth of 55 centimetres. So just make sure you get those measurements right before you order first. The oven is also hardwired so will require someone with an electrical mind or electrically qualified in order to install it. And it's important to note that it does weigh a hefty 61 kilograms. So if you aren't up on your electrical regulations and you don't have anyone to give you a lift with it, I would recommend checking out the additional installation option if available at all. Right, now back to the oven. Let's take a look inside. So if we take a closer look at the bottom cavity, the fan assisted oven, first thing to note is there's four shelving options with two shelving racks included. Also included is telescopic shelf runners and allows the shelf to glide in and glide out. This is particularly handy if you just want to quickly check on your food without taking it out of the oven and being able to just glide it straight back in and shut the door and making sure that not much heat escapes from the oven. The cooking surfaces are also enamelled and have a self cleaning function. This works by absorbing any grease splats and then oxidising any residual food on the ongoing cooking process. There's also two cleaning functions on the oven itself so if you can't wait until the next clean to oxidise that food you can clean it straight away using the cleaning functions. Also for your convenience there's an internal light as well as a grill fitted to the roof of the cavity with cooking functions to complement its inclusion. Now if we take a look inside the top oven you can see that it too benefits from a large grilling surface as well as three shelving options and the same self cleaning enamel surfaces as you'd find in the bottom cavity. Also just to note the drip tray which doubles up as also a grill tray is currently situated inside the top oven along with an additional shelving rack which comes with the top oven part as well. So if we take a closer look at what the bottom fan assisted oven functions are like and I can talk you through step by step the different ones available for you. As I said there's a total of 10 different functions. Two of those are cleaning functions and one of those is the rapid self heat function. Just as I do that you'll notice that the buttons are pop out buttons so you just pop them out and then turn them accordingly and then pop them back in when you're finished. So if we go to the first function that's the rapid heat function. This is fantastic if you've got nothing inside your oven and you need to get it up to a temperature very quickly. So for example sometimes when you're baking and it says a preheated oven other conventional ovens can take a long time to get up to that function. If you use the rapid heat function, it takes no time at all. Next is the circotherm heat function. Now circotherm is a special technology at Neff's design. That means that heat generated by the oven is drawn back in by the conventional fan, heated back up and then circulated around your oven rather than just pushing it straight out in a forward facing motion. The circular heat means that everything is cooked from front to back, side to side. It also means that there's no transfer of flavours. So for example, if you was cooking three different items on the three different shelving options, none of those flavours would transfer between each other. It really is fantastic technology. Next up, you've got Circotherm Gentle. Now Circotherm Gentle works exactly the same way as Circotherm. However, what this does is it will turn the fan on and off and work accordingly to make sure that Rather than giving high amounts of heat, it uses any residual heat within the oven to make sure the cooking process is nice and smooth. Perfect for things like juicy roasts. Next up is your pizza setting. The pizza setting works using the Circotherm technology as well as heating the base of the oven. That way then, the base of your pizza stays really nice, golden and crispy, whereas the toppings stay just as you want them. The next option is your eco clean option. Now as discussed earlier, when you turn on this option, what this will do is it will burn away any stubborn foods left on with inside your oven. 
What it does is when you turn it to the option, it gives you an hour long function where it will heat up the oven to the maximum temperature, thus oxidizing any food left in the oven. All you need to do then once it's completed is wait for the oven to cool down, go in with just a soapy cloth and just wipe down your surfaces and everything will be clean. The next option is the bottom cleaning function. What this does is you put a little bit of water plus some washing up liquid into the bottom of your oven and then turn on this function. This goes for roughly around 21 minutes where it gently heats up your oven and heats up the bottom and vaporizes any water into the air meaning that all your surfaces become easily cleanable and you can wipe them down once your oven's cooled down. One thing to note though, it is important that any residual water left in the oven after this process also needs to be taken out and not just left to vaporize. Next up, you've got the bottom heated element only function. Perfect for things such as flans or cakes that need to be heated from the bottom only. The next option is the grill option. Usually just found in the top oven parts of double ovens, there's also an additional grilling function in the bottom part of this oven, meaning that things such as pork chops or anything meaty that you don't really want to cook in the same place as let's say you'd normally cook your traditional toast, can be cooked in the bottom oven, thus making sure that the top oven stays grease free and splat free. If I just move over to the side a little bit, you can also see that you've got your Circotherm grilling option. This is perfect for things such as poultry, where what will happen is the Circotherm technology will continue to cook your food as well as alternating between the grilling option. That way then you create a nice golden roasty crispy skin with nice succulent meat on the inside. Finally, you've got your conventional oven, perfect for anything bacon related, whether that be cakes, flans, Victoria sponges, you name it, perfect for baking options. Just for your convenience, you've got an internal light as well as the off button. Now if we just take a look at the top cavity oven functions, you can see very similar to the main cavity, there are some similar functions available on this, however not as many due to the size and also the fact that it is just a conventional oven being the top part. First option you've got is your conventional oven. Very much like your bottom oven, perfect for baking cakes, making fairy cakes with the little ones, anything bakery related. Second up, you've also got the option just to heat from the bottom of the oven only, that is the bottom of the top oven, just to confuse you. Perfect again for things such as flans, cheesecakes, anything such that way you need more heat on the bottom than you do on the top. Third, you've got your self cleaning function, where the oven will heat up to the highest temperature possible and disintegrate and oxidize any foods that may be stuck to the sides. Then you've got two grilling options. You've either got your small grill, or your larger grill. Your small grill option will just heat the centre of the grill, thus saving you energy and there's no need to heat a whole grill when you just want to cook two rounds of toast. Should you want to grill something a bit more substantial, you change it to the main grill which will then heat the whole of the grilling surface. Finally, you've also got your built-in convenient light just so you can check on what's cooking or if you want to make it look nice at night. Again, we've got the popping buttons where you just turn it off and you pop them back in. Now this oven also comes with a digital clock just for your convenience, but it also has a built-in timer as well just to help you with cooking and keeping your cooking times just right. To access this, all you do is you double tap on the clock button and it'll bring up a timer which can simply be increased by pressing the right hand side or decreased by pressing the left. If you leave it for a few seconds, it'll start to kick in and then when complete, we'll sound an audio bell just for your convenience. So, what do I think about this Neff Electric built-in double oven? In the time that I've been using this oven, I've cooked various different types of food, some greasy, some not so, desserts, you name it, I've cooked various different types of foods. But what I can say is that I haven't smelled any kind of greasy smell or any flavours in, in my foods that shouldn't be there. And I think that's mainly down to the absorbent sides of the oven and that self-cleaning function that just absorbs any greasy splats and keeps that smell away from your cooking foods. I also love the telescopic slide runners. I think it's great just to be able to slide your food out, check on it, slide it back in and close the door. For me, they could have added an additional one of those and that would have been perfect. I love the nice glossy look of the black combined with the, the matted silver or stainless steel design. I think it really looks modern in any sort of kitchen. I also love the fact that they've got the popping buttons, which means you can pop them in and out as you choose just to keep it again that minimal look that I'm really looking for. The oven heats up absolutely rapidly and that's without using the rapid heat function and the fan as well I'm not sure if you can hear it but it's just kicked in because I've got the interior light on 
but equally the fam is really quiet as well. So once you finish your food, there's nothing more annoying sometimes is when you sit at the table and you can hear that fan kicking in the background. Some things I think they could possibly improve on is the fact that you only get three grilling racks. Now having three grilling racks between two ovens is a little bit of a stretch for myself. I like to have a grilling rack always in the grill top part of the oven and then in the bottom part that only leaves then two shelves for me. I don't want to be able to swap around shelves when I'm trying to cook different things in different ovens. Um, I think an additional grilling rack I think would have probably just been right. I'm also not so keen on the fact that you don't get a handle with the grill. Normally when obviously you're cooking toast, you don't want to sort of get too close in because of the heat. With this, am I having to use an oven glove or a wrapped up tea towel to pull out the grill rack? I think having a handle that you can, you can put on and off would just save that, that bit of, I guess, frustration for me. However, with so many functions on this oven, including things such as the absorbent cleaning system and the Cercotherm technology, I think you're onto a definite winner in the oven category in this one. So until next time, thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Until next time, goodbye.